Hi everyone, glad to have you back in part 2 of this video. So if you missed the first part, you should watch it. It's about how the mold was made to make this part. So the part was made with tooling resin and you can all see that in part 1 of this video. So this is the mold that was finished in part 1. So I did some trimming around the edges with a jigsaw and then I have a result looking like this. So like I said in the first part of the video, this is not like the perfect mold, the perfect mold because this is only going to be used once. It's only to make one part, so it's good enough to make one part. So while the chemical release agent is being used and uh, it has to be evaporated during an hour, I quickly spray painted the body, but I first degreased everything and then sprayed everything on. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying down the carbon fiber fabric and I know some people would say like, oh, you have to make cuts and so on. But my ultimate challenge was to make this in one piece. So this is very tricky. I was kind of surprised and happy at the same time. I was able to do it that way. Um, because to be honest, I wasn't thinking this would work. Uh, in one piece. So what I did here is I've added the peel ply, infusion mesh, now the vacuum bag, everything is tightly sealed, no bridging and then the part can be infused. So if you're not familiar with what I'm doing here you should check out a video, I'll just add a link to the text stream infusion uh, video where everything is explained in a bit more detail because I'm going quite fast through all of this. So I'm removing the peel ply here um, and I have to say, to be honest, it's always a mess to get the peel ply out in tight corners and so on. So what I'm doing here is I'm using um, a wedge just to remove it. And I just like this out. That's why I added this shot. Because it's not demolding. It's demolding here with the um, air compressor. So just like I did in the first part of the these videos. And this is how the part looks like. And the part looks very good and I knew I still had to trim it, sand it and pure coat it again. So there's no big deal about the finish right here. So this is trimming with a Dremel tool with, an, with a carbide blade. It's from Permagrid. You can find it on Easy Composites. And you can just mount it on every Dremel you have. So here's the bandsaw just to finish some edges and get it all nice. So. You can see here like the corners are getting way better and it will also improve a lot in the design by having rounded edges edges instead of uh, straight edges. So here just finishing with a perma grid uh, sanding block and this is the result. So this is after sanding, uh, no after clear coat. I didn't add it in the video because I was kind of uh, stressed, stressed at the moment in time but it's just like spraying on the clear coat um, with some stick ring. So here I'm doing some measurements. Um, you can drill through carbon fiber with just a normal um, drill, but they will dull out after a while, so don't use too expensive ones. Um, and use tape on top of uh, the part you want to cut, just to avoid splinters and so on. Maybe like a small trick I did the mistake here is, um, maybe you should drill the holes before adding the clear coats. Because I wasn't able to send it at the end. So this is how the um, the electric case, I'll call it that way. I'm not an electrical engineer or something. But it's how it's um, transforming the energy, uh, voltage and so on. It's put under the cover. There, there's some stick ring. And this is a result of the ball throwing machine. So this is for hockey balls. And it's quite impressive what kind of uh, force it has. So the distance here is 23 meters away I am measuring the time just to know the uh, speed of the balls uh, being thrown out of the machine and it's quite impressive so 23 meters and 8 tenths of a second if you all do the calculations and so on and yes I'm a geek it's 103 kilometers an hour and this is just like having fun with the machine at the end when everything is done <laughs> so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to get more uh, updates See other videos if interested. And don't forget to find me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.